Hey everyone, here's a look at our Vintage Film LUTs for photo and video. Compatible with all editing software, Vintage Film LUTs is like having 20 film color lens filters in your camera bag for the price of one. From natural to vibrant, you'll get warm, cool, and black and white film color effects. Each Vintage Film LUT has a slightly different amount of tone, tint, and saturation, allowing you complete customization of the perfect Vintage Film look. I'm gonna walk you through how easy it is to use these in Photoshop, along with a few other editing tips to take your digital photos to the next level and really sell that vintage film look. Let's drop in. So when you download and zip the pack, you're gonna get 20 vintage film cube files along with a red halation action file. And to import these into Photoshop, you go to your Photoshop presets, 3D LUTs, and then you copy and paste your .cube files directly into that 3D LUTs folder. It's easy as that. So let's bring up Photoshop and you wanna click on your adjustments, scroll down to your color lookup, click on it. And then in your 3D LUT file, click on the drop down menu and here are all the vintage film LUTs that you can select. And you can easily just pick any one and it will automatically apply it on the adjustment color lookup layer above your image. And then let's go ahead and show you how to add the red halation action. Click on your actions button right here. And then in this little hamburger icon, you click that and you go to load actions. Then you scroll to where your action is. Ours is right here. Click open. I already have it in here, so I'm not gonna do that. And then it will show up in your actions right here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna give you that subtle red bloom on top of your image. So it's gonna be a very subtle red bloom, which is very prominent within film stocks. So you add that, and then you can click on there to add the filmlet that you want. Typically what I like to do, just so I can cycle through very easily what vintage film look I'd want. I just go through and I add each one. So I'm actually gonna delete that first one. I'm gonna delete those real quick and, and I'm gonna do this for all 20 vintage film LUTs. So I'll do that really quick. All right, I've added all 20 and this will just make it really easy for you to scan through all of the different vintage film looks and select the one that you like the most. So you can easily just scroll through here and show them all to you. And again, these all have a slight variation of tone, tint, and saturation to them, giving you different looks for indoor and outdoor photos. Gives you a nice variety of warm, cool, and black and white imagery. Okay, so that's all 20 of them. I'm gonna go with, uh, I think I like 17 the most. It's just a very nice kind of subtle, warm film look to it. That's it for the actual vintage film looks and adding the red halation action onto the imagery. If you want to take this a step further, we have some great packs. You can add some film grains directly on it that we've shot and scanned from other 35 millimeter film. Let's go ahead and drag that film grain onto this image. And you can just simply change out the blending mode. I think that's nice. Overlay is a nice effect, right? That gives you a lot more kind of texture in all around these clouds and everything. You can see that what that does from a contrast perspective, right? You add first the vintage LUT and then you can add the film grain and really give it that nice organic tone and texture on top of the digital image. And then you can take this even a step further and add a film frame on top of it. Just drag and drop PNG film frame. These are really nice photo film overlays to really just sell that film look so much more. Take all the color LUTs and I'll just add them into a folder so it's easy enough. And then what I'll do is probably just reposition. Yeah, something like that looks really nice and then you can just crop it to the film frame. So I love that. That's how you can really elevate and transform your digital imagery and make it look exactly like film without having to shoot on it. 
So have fun with this. These vintage film LUDs combine great with a number of our best-selling photo film textures, transform your digital images, and give them the perfect film look by adding additional film grain overlays and photo film frames. So have fun with this. As always, if you're new here, consider subscribing to join the community. Leave a like, it helps us out big time with the YouTube algorithm, and comment below what you would like to see next, and we'll catch you in the next one.